Fabric disease is an inherited condition which is due to lack of an enzyme. Enzymes are proteins that break things down and the failure to break things down means that there's accumulation and in Fabric disease substances accumulate in different organs. The gene for Fabry disease which is mutated, changed in the disease is on the X chromosome, a female who is a carrier may have half of the children with the mutation, males or females, who have a risk for the disease, and then a second half of the kids do not inherit the mutated gene, they will be not affected, and their offsprings will have no risk for the disease either. An affected male will pass his disease gene only to his daughters and never to his sons. Pedigree analysis involves talking to family members and then testing them, usually simply a blood test. And the idea of talking to them and doing a blood test is to find out whether or not they've got the condition. Uh, but also it'll help us identify whether they might actually pass the condition on. They might not actually have any symptoms, but they may be able to pass it on when they in turn have children. So pedigree analysis is looking at that whole family tree and then really characterising who's got the condition but may not have any symptoms and who may pass it on to somebody else. People that develop symptoms could present to a whole range of different types of doctors or opticians and even, even be a doctor. Could be a school nurse who first sees somebody with fabric disease and really bad pain. So that means that often patients have this condition and they may not be diagnosed. We know that people can go up to 10, 15 years before they're diagnosed and we know that there was one study that showed that, that a typical fabric patient might see as many as 10 specialists over 10 years before the diagnosis is made. Now, if one has undertaken pedigree analysis, that can allow us to identify somebody at a younger age. Fabric disease can affect lots of different organs and cause damage to these organs. We have effective interventions, but these interventions need to be applied before the organs are damaged. Pedigree analysis allows us to identify patients who are at risk of developing the complications of Fabry disease and we can identify them and intervene before those complications have occurred. <music>